Oh, hello, Yahweh Bashem, Nabashai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers. The confusion of faith, brothers, joined unto our ranks. The hopefully elect, the aqua that are listening and learning. Special shout out to you, brothers in those foreign lands, speaking those different languages, the brothers in Australia, the brother over there in, uh, in Germany, the brother in the Philippines. You know, the brothers down in South America and in different countries. You know, to you brothers, I, I, I send an extra sincere shalom for your, uh, your help and uplift the body with the fulfilling of scriptures of, the, uh, of this worldwide awakening of the children of Israel that were scattered to the four corners of the earth. And that prophecy being fulfilled now. It's never been fulfilled before. It's being fulfilled now. And we're getting to see it. This video is about the end of America. Well, what happened here? It's funny, I said that and then the lights went out on the video. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright? But America is finished. And there's a recompense that has to come. It has to because the most high is respect of no person. There's no action that doesn't have an uh there's no action that's done that does not have an uh, a response. This is uh, Romans 2 and 11. It says, for there is no respect of persons with, with, with God, with power. There's no respect of persons, man. So you don't get to do, um, you know, anything you want, especially to the Lord's chosen people. And, you know, and now, you know, these Edomites with their false Christianity think they just get to waltz right into heaven, right along with the Israelites. Because all is forgiven because of because of uh, white Jesus, you know. Well, first of all, there's no such thing as, as white people. We've gone over that a thousand times. There are brown people and there are people who are different shades of red, just like there are people who are different shades of brown. That's it, point blank, period. There is no black or white people. That's a made-up social construct for control and division. All right? But the thing is, is because Esau has gotten away with their wickedness for so long, they thought that they would just, you know, that it would be okay. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, and it reads, Because sentence against an evil work is not ex executed ex speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Because Esau would, would hang us, kill us, rape our women, cut our, 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 our women open and let the babies fall out and trample them or feed them to dogs. They would do things like that to us over the centuries, ever since the conquistadors landed, all right, and then they doubled back and went to the western coast of Africa to get the southern kingdom of Judah. They've been doing all sort of things to us. And no lightning bolts came out of the sky, no chariots came down to save us and destroy them. But they forget that, that one day to the Lord is a thousand years to us. So all those crimes and that wickedness is fresh in his head. Fresh in memory. And Yahweh Shai is an angry angelic force because you're not going to be able to put your hands on him this time. So truth be said, you only he allowed you to put his, your hands on him the last time. He had the power then, even as a man. He just fulfilled the prophecy and, and allowed himself to be a sacrifice. All right, so let's let some of this video play. Reporters of RT America and our nation's capital. Hello again, everybody. I'm Rick Sanchez. We're now getting the, the full picture of what happened to our economy in the month of December. And, and what comes to mind for most economists who are talking about this are words like rout, as in defeat or retreat. In fact, most of them are saying that with the exception of the late advance that we reported to you toward the end of the year, it was historically, historically bad. Uh, let me give you the headline. It was the worst December for the S&P 500 since 1931. You literally could not turn on your TV during December without hearing the catchword for the season, which was volatility. After days of historic declines, the Dow closed up nearly 1,100 points yesterday. The largest single day point gain, the Dow is moving back towards the lows of the day. All 30 Dow stocks are now in the red and the Dow's gains for the year are gone. A distant memory. It was another roller coaster day on Wall Street. 
Following yesterday's 1,000-point surge, stocks plummeted as much as 600 points today. Then they came roaring back. It's on Wall Street, which is giving investors a major case of whiplash. The market's plunging again today. What the heck is going on? So let's look up that word volatile. Okay, let's see. Let's open up this tab. It says, of a substance easily evaporated at normal temperatures. Liable to change and unpredictable, especially for the worse. <laughs> Tense, strange, fraught, uneasy, uncomfortable, charged, explosive, inflammatory, turbulent, and and more. It's a wrap on America. It's a wrap on everything that America has to deal with. Your gold and silver is cankered. What the heck is going on? So now, as we embark on a new year... We have to ask ourselves a series of questions. For example, what happens with countries who are deciding they no longer want to use the dollar as their standard? Also, what happens if the Fed continues to raise interest rates? What happens to the debt that's been accrued by millions of Americans who for the last nine years have been on a buying spree because it seemed to them that money was just so damn cheap? I'll tell you what happens. What happens is World War III, all right? And up to the leading of World War III, the system is going to crash and they're going to institute the RFID chip. And they call it the NFC something uh, in Europe overseas. That's where you're heading to because the dollar is worthless. I heard a brother say on a video um, that the dollar is worth 23 cents, and that sounds about right. And then they tax that. Okay, because hey, I remember uh, how I, when I was a little kid, man, I used to go to the store with a quarter or 50 cents to come back with a, a brown paper bag full of, full of candy, my baby sister and I. You know, we were little kids, man. I remember that. They used to call it penny candy. And it was always some old person uh, in the neighborhood who set up a, uh, the little candy store out of their kitchen. That's the sort of things they did in the hood, you know. They would uh, sell popcorn and candies and, you know, and, and soda pops and stuff like that right out of their kitchen, man. You walk up the back steps, you know, and they had a little screen, a little gate that was up where they could just uh, open up the top. And you and, and you could see their whole display and you would tell them what they want and they would bring it to the window. Those days are gone, man. All right. A quarter barely gets you one piece of bubble gum out of the machine. Now they want two quarters. All right, let alone a bag of candy. And what that's bringing you to is this right here. The American dream is dead. Let's see if I can pull up this other video of uh, Wrong Way. Slid two. There we go. It might not look like much. Damn commercial. But this is where it all starts. There we go. We have a lot of land. So the idea of like it being expensive in the city of Los Angeles is, is ironic, but it is. Like in downtown Arts District, people are getting moved out because prices are rising. Are you looking for pod share? Oh, yeah. So prices are rising, they can no longer afford to live. And what you're about to see this is what the American dream has become. And they talk about this thing like it's a good thing. This is a very bad thing. All right. Especially this form of pod sharing. Is there other forms of uh, 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 pod sharing that, that you are totally enclosed? But this is just basically an open squad bay like in the military. As you'll see. And this is all his belonging. Everything he owns in the world is right here. Right here. This is what America has come to. All that college and all that money, and this is how you end up. And then you wonder why they're on opioids and fentanyl and meth. And who wants their child to end up like this? Also, the idea with PodShare was how do you make it affordable, accessible to all? Do you know the code? No, it's, <laughs> it's in that confirmation. And see, the chip will take that away. 
It, that pad is already set up for it. Okay? Information email. Cool. Come on in. The idea is like a coffee shop or your local neighborhood bar, but for beds. All right, so you can choose your pod. So their wall, their bicycles were hung up on the wall, and you basically choose a pod. It's open, so the person across can look at you, is looking at you, staring at you. All right, you can't walk around. You have no freedom. You have no privacy. You can go number four, number six, number seven. Oh, it's good. Okay, so let's do eight. You can put your suitcase underneath your pod. You have outlets on the side. You've got a nightlight here. When the lights go out at 11, you could still do your own thing. Cool. Your TV has a remote behind it. You could put your headphones into the remote. Everybody writes their name on their pods. It's pretty easy to get to know folks. You get your own pod, but you share everything else. That's straight military, man. That's a squad bay in the military for a military unit. That's how we lived when I was in the Marine Corps, man. Yep. So I'll show you what's for shared. We, we call this as co-living, not hostel, not hotel, not anything, co-living. There's lockers here. So and that's Esau. They love to come up with little clever names for, for oppression of their own citizens. In the kitchen, you have some free food. So anything that's marked community, you're welcome to at any point of the day. So there's like cereals, like ramen, coffees and tea. And you already know people are going to uh, 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 disrespect that and go into other people's cupboards and little cubby holes, et cetera, et cetera. And then what happens to those women that are in that squad bay when lawlessness comes? When there's no more, the, uh, 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 you know, when there's no law, when martial law is declared? What do you think happens to your daughters when they're living in that squad bay? And what if there's more men in the squad bay than women? Watch the movie The, the Divide. Is breads, peanut butter, and otherwise your pot ate. So if you have like things you want to put in there instead of your pot so you don't get ants, put it in there. And then in the fridge, same thing. We've organized it by pod number so you don't need to write your name on anything. Just put it in pot eight. Otherwise, there's a community section here with cereal with that milk, peanut butter and jelly, butters and stuff like that. So uh, pots and pans and everything in here. There's a supermarket. There's two supermarkets nearby. And then on your pod, you have a towel. Yep. You're welcome to any of the toiletries here. And when you're ready to take a shower, we have two toilets and two showers. And toiletries are included, so anything that's out, you're welcome to it. Cool. We've been following the co-living market, and you see a, new, a lot of new people doing it. But so, <laughs> and what if someone snores really, really loud, man? Hey, I had a guy, when he was my squad leader, he snored so loud that people in the next barracks could hear him. And the whole thing was everyone would try to get in and go to sleep before he would come in. Because it would take you an extra hour to fall asleep if that dude fell asleep before you, man. Everyone's doing private apartments, but nobody is doing dormitory like we call this dormitory style. The first pot show location, it was a 1,200 square foot space, and I had this idea of putting 10. So, you know, it, this, is, this is ridiculous, but this is what they're being reduced to, man. This is like, this is almost like a, a, a lightly guarded prison, you know, or being in the military. This is insane, man. And this is what America has come to, and, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Let's look up the definition of privacy. It says the state or condition of being free from being observed or disturbed by other people. And that's not only, uh, let me finish it. She returned to the privacy of her own home. Synonym, seclusion, solitude, isolation, freedom from disturbance, freedom from interference, protection of one's privacy. And that's something that's gone in America completely. Everything you do is uh is, is watched and observed okay everything you do is watched and observed whether it's your cell phone your computer and now you're going to make living uh uh, uh 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 situations where the same thing is being done that that's insane man Slow. why Two anyone would want to live like that i have no idea okay but uh slid slid to oh, it's a lock yeah slid 2.68%. That was the lowest. But let's uh, 
finish a little bit of this video, and then I'm going to finish with a few more scriptures and close this thing out. And your treasury yield slid 2.68%. That was the lowest uh, since February of that year. And in commodities, crude showed its first loss since 2015. So what was up? Gold. Gold finished the year on a six-month high, which is usually, as most of you know, a sure sign that investors don't trust the market condition, so they... That's right. And when they don't trust the market condition, everyone goes to gold because gold is real currency, gold and silver. And that's going to be the main thing that's dealt in you know, once the kingdom of heaven is established, which was near at hand, because the destruction of Edom is, 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 is already in the process. Okay, the Lord raised them up just so he can bring them down. Because they went so long without judgment, going back to that Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. And now it's all coming, it's all coming down upon their head. So I'm going to read uh, from Obadiah. This is Obadiah, the, uh, the 10th, uh, started verse 10, and it says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. And thou shalt be cut off forever. And shame is falling upon the, the Americans, man. That's why so many of them are committing suicide and turning to drugs. In that day thou stoodest on the other side. In the day that the, that, the, in the day that the strangers carried away the captives, his forces, and the foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was as one of them. Because when those uh, Hamites, those Babylonians, were, were taking, destroying Jerusalem and taking us into captivity... Esau, instead of being as a brother and fighting with us or aiding us, actually helped them and cheered them on. But thou should have not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that they became strangers, neither see the cut. So the, the brotherly covenant was broken. So all that forgive and forget and Esau can make it and, and we should have mercy on uh, Edomites. That's that. And no, no, no. Ain't going to be none of that, man. Like James 2 and 13, he shall have mercy who should. No mercy who showed no mercy, man. But thou shouldest not have looked upon the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Neither should thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. All right? Because the end result, verse 16. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall all drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Zion, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions and the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau a stubble and they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for Yahweh hath spoken it. So the time of the of the so-called white man is coming rapidly to an end. Call Halal Yahweh Shalom Shai Bahashem Rakak Wadash Wa Ababa Ball.